Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video, which I don't think I've done one for a while. At least, as far as I can remember. So I figured it was about time. This one is the 15 weird questions tag, and I actually like this because they're not really book-related questions. It's just a chance for you to get to know me a little bit. So let's just jump straight into it. Question one, uh, do you have any nicknames? I really don't. I, when I was younger, it bothered me a little bit. When I started with the post office, my on-the-job instructor nicknamed me Obi-Wan Kenobi, or Ben Kenobi, partly because of my name, partly because he found out I was a Star Wars fan, and partly because he believes that if I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi, that, that makes him Yoda, because he believes that Yoda was Obi-Wan's master when he was an apprentice. I haven't yet had the heart to tell him that Qui-Gon Jinn was actually Obi-Wan's master and not Yoda because he's so proud of the fact that he can now consider himself Yoda. I might someday. Question number two is a weird habit. Hmm. I guess if I had to go with a weird habit, I mean, I probably have several of them, but I think the biggest one is I, I'll make noise, like I'm constantly drumming my fingers on stuff. It drives my wife nuts. Question number three is a weird phobia. Uh, I am illogically afraid of wasps, like so much to the point that, I don't, well you're not going to be able to see it, uh, but I have a scar from where I was working and a wasp landed on my shoulder and I had a razor blade, so I went to flick it off with the razor blade and sliced my arm open. I honestly think I could handle being mauled by a bear more than I could having a wasp on me. It makes no sense, but I guess that's why it's a phobia. Question number four, name a song that you're privately ashamed of, but you blast in private. I don't know if I'm privately ashamed of this one or publicly ashamed of it, but uh, I don't even know the name of it. But Rihanna's We Found Love in a Hopeless Place, for whatever reason, that song, maybe it's the repetitiveness and stupidity of it, but it always makes me laugh. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, I listen to what I like, and there's probably several songs that I like that I should be ashamed of, but that's the one that first comes to mind. Question number five, a pet peeve. Uh, people who put their own convenience above that of others. For example, people who take more than 20 items in the express lane, people who walk in the outdoor or vice versa at Walmart, people who double park. That really ticks me off. Really does. I, I probably have a lot more pet peeves than is healthy from a normal person. Question number six is uh, what is one of your nervous habits? Which to me, it would almost be the exact question of a weird habit. So see question number two for the answer to question number six. Question number seven, what side of the bed do you sleep on? If you're standing at the foot of the bed, looking at the head of the bed, I sleep on the left side. Question number eight, what's the name of your first stuffed animal? I don't remember what stuffed animal I had the first. Uh, the name of like my most important stuffed animal when I was younger was Patches. He was technically a bear, but I always considered him a mouse, despite the fact that he didn't look like a mouse. I was just a kid. Question number nine, what do you buy at Starbucks? I'm pretty sure I've only bought one thing at Starbucks, and that is a mocha frappuccino. I've had several people try and make fun of me for it, for it being a sissy drink, but it's what I like. So, I I'm a really hard person to shame, in case you haven't picked up on that. Question number ten is... What is a beauty rule you abide by? Don't know if you can tell, but I don't have a lot of beauty rules I abide by. But if I was going to have to say, I think the most important thing, not only with beauty, but also personal hygiene and just basic civic consciousness, would be to bathe at least once a day. I think that's pretty important. A lot of people could be vastly improved by that rule. Question number 11, which way do you face in the shower? Um, both. I don't think I spend, if I do spend the majority of time facing one way, I have never noticed it, and which means I'll probably be analyzing my shower time over the next couple of weeks. Thank you very much, YouTube. Number 12 is a weird bodily skill. Ah, I honestly don't know. I can, like, crack my knuckles, my back, my neck, almost anything. I guess I guess that would work. I don't know if it's gonna have to for this one. Question number 13, what is your comfort food? Probably anything highly processed with a lot of unhealthy sugar. It's pretty hard to go wrong with those two things. Question number 14, what is a word or a phrase that you say all the time? I'm sure there's lots of them. Right now, 
because my wife and I have been going back and watching through the first season of New Girl, I'm going to say Youth, because that to me is just funny. If you've seen the show, you'll get it. If not, I don't think I can explain it for you. Question number 15 is what do you sleep in? And with that, I'm going to leave you in suspense. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, or subscribe, or all three of the above. And I will see you next time. Bye.